and welcome to Progressive Education Society's Modern College of Pharmacy, Nigri, Pune. In the e-lecture series of Pharmacognosy and Phytopharmaceuticals for the class second year Farm D. Hello, myself, Dr. Bhushan Pimple. In this video, we will discuss about the morphology and microscopy of senna leaves. Senna leaf is more popularly known as Indian senna or sonai ki patti or sennai. The source is it consists of dried leaves of Cassia angustifolia of Wahal. Wahal is the scientist. Or it has also a synonym called as Senna Alexandrina Miller, uh, belonging to family Fabaceae. Fabaceae family has legume-like fruits, and the legumes are smaller. The chief chemical constituents are senoside A and senoside B, which are anthraquinone glycosides. Besides, there are few more glycosides like amodine and isoramnetine which have the laxative property and the drug is majorly used for the treatment of constipation because it has a strong laxative property it is employed in generally the treatment of irritable bowel syndrome and hemorrhoids Besides, it is also used for uh, weight loss and has been scientifically proven to be enthalmentic, that is, it kills the worms and expels them out. It is employed before colonoscopy in order to uh, flush out all the bowels present in the colon. So, these are the major applications of senali. As far as the morphology, external appearance of the leaves are concerned, these are dark green in color and they have a characteristic odor. It is not a pleasant odor and the taste is bitter. Size varies from 2 to 4 cm in length and 1 to 1.5 cm in width. Shape is lanceolate, that means it is oval and it has been tapered from uh, both the ends to certain extent. Apex is not pointed, it is obtuse or a blunt apex. Margin is entire, that means it does not have any serrations or grooves and crevices. It is smooth and complete margin. Base is symmetrical. As we have seen in Datura, it has uh, a symmetrical base. That means the lamina in this leaf is touching of, of the both sides of the margin. They are touching to each other at the same point. This is called a symmetrical base. Petiole. The leaf do not have a prominent petiole. Instead, it is sessile. The blade or lamina is directly attached to the rachis. Rachis is the central uh, this brown colored twig to that. The entire leaf is directly attached. Texture after drying, the leaf appears to be rough and papery in texture and has pinnate type of venation. Pinnate means uh, central uh, midrib it is this suppose this is the midrib it is divided directly into a uh, pinnate type or parallel type of venation that means v v shape like uh, veins can be observed as far as microscopy is concerned the leaf uh, generally fresh leaf is to be taken and the base it has to be cut in transverse way starting from the base and only the lower one third region should be used for cutting the section. The upper cannot be used because the midrib and all the tissues present here are too small and appears similar under the microscope. 
whereas here you can find differentiated tissue so hold the leaf in this way and you can run your blade transversely so as to get this kind of section now the sections they have a uh, lamina as well as midrib attached to it the microscopy of senna leaves shows uh, various different kinds of tissue as we can see here epidermis palisade cell ebalenchyma crystalline sheath xylem phloem calcium oxalate and collagen we will have a look at them uh, one by one uh, the layers here have been arranged from periphery that means from uh, the upper side towards the lower one we'll see one by one suppose the epidermis that is the outermost layer on both the surfaces the up, it has upper as well as lower epidermis the epidermal tissue has epidermal cells trichome and stomata as far as transverse section is concerned uh, one can see the tapering trichome which are unicellular with warty appearance and the entire epidermis is uh, cuticularized it has cutic presence of cuticle in it next is the columnar cell like appearance that is palisade cells these are the palisade cells palisade cells if you note you can find here the palisade cells are present on both the surfaces upper as well as lower now this is the reason why a uh, senna leaf is called as iso bilateral leaf if you cut down this word iso bilateral you'll notice iso means same bi means two and lateral means side so on from both the surfaces it is it appears to be very similar with each other they are that is the upper surface is mirror image of the lower one these are called as iso bilateral leaf next is parenchyma tissue the white color wherein i have not drawn any cell and this this white color blank portion indicates the parenchyma which is made up for storage of food material the role of palisade cells is to trap the sunlight and uh, these are the actually uh, photosynthesizing cells so actual photosynthesis occurs in the palisade cell and they are located just below the epidermis the epidermis being transparent it allows the light to pass through it next is crystalline sheath the crystalline sheath is the layer made up of many crystals and sclerenchyma tissue this provides mechanical support to the leaves then xylem you can notice here the large rings are of xylem which are lignified then the phloem just below the xylem a bunch is very compactly arranged cells are phloem then calcium oxalate crystals senna can show two different kinds of calcium oxalate one is a uh, roseate shape whereas the another is a prismatic shape of calcium oxalate and the lower region or the lower epidermis just below the lower epidermis as far as the midrib is concerned <clears throat> in the midrib you will find the presence of collagenchyma again collagenchyma is a flexible mechanical support providing tissue it just acts like a uh, rods present in the beam so they support the leaf to stand in a horizontal direction so as to trap maximum sunlight so these are the various different layers the staining of the senna leaf is concerned we have to prominently use sudan red as one of the dye fluoroglucinol and hcl and acetic acid when you stain the tears with sudan red 3 dye it stains the cuticle you can notice here the outermost epidermis that means the outermost layer epidermis being cuticularized 
the sudan red and the cuticle being uh, oily in nature sudan red is oil soluble dye so it goes and stains only the cuticularized epidermis if you stain the ts with fluoroglucinol hcl this fluoroglucinol hcl gives red color to the lignified tissue now this is the xylem is the lignified tissue present in the senna leaf whereas phloem they are non lignified but they take up slight yellow color then if you add acetic acid to the ts acetic acid dissolves all the cellular debris and makes the calcium oxalate crystal crystals clearly visible so one should add acetic acid only to observe calcium oxalate crystals under 40x or sometimes 10x also so this is how calcium oxalate crystals appear actual image of the senna ts uh, again it shows epidermis golden yellow color epidermis can be on cell or palisade cells cell crystal sheath is also visible xylem phloem calcium oxalate and collagen kind of. now we'll have a look at each of these layers in detail about the epidermis epidermis has epidermal cells these are uh, flat or uh, they are flattened from dorsal and ventral side and they are straight walled on the dorsal surface whereas you can find vv uh, epidermal cells on the ventral surface about the trichome the trichome is uh, unicellular and is pointed at one end and it has warty appearance as far as the stomata are concerned uh, senna leaf is the typical example for pa uh, uh, parasitic type of stomata parasitic means the if you draw a longitudinal line or a imaginary line across the longitudinal plane that is this plane of the subsidiary cell and about for the guard cell these two lines will be somewhat parallel if you notice or if you have a look at another stomata also the length of the guard cell and the length of subsidiary cells they are aligned similarly in the same direction so it is called as parasitic stomata about the palisade cells the palisade cells are greener in color you can see that these are having more amount of chloroplast in them and they actually function in photosynthesis that means the photosynthesis occurs prominently in these palisade cells the layer above the palisade cell are called as epidermis and this epidermis is transparent enough so as to permit the light through to pass through it parenchyma leaves generally have spongy parenchyma spongy means there is ample amount of um, intercellular space between the parenchyma cells and this sponginess is because it provides elasticity to the leaf or the storage if it is more uh, the leaves or the cells they can swell and uh, occupy the area the main role of parenchyma is to store starch grain here it they you can find them storing the calcium oxalate crystals also the rosette as well as the prismatic calcium oxalate crystalline sheath the role of crystalline sheath is similar to that of uh, collenchyma that is it provides mechanical support and is present only on the upper or you can say dorsal near the dorsal uh, palisade cell it is made up of the stones a layer of stone cells as well as calcium oxalate crystals vascular bundle of senna leaf comprises uh, it is uh, called as collateral vascular bundle and it has xylem which is made up of lignified large vessels of xylem 
followed by phloem phloem you can notice it is just present below the xylem and the location of xylem and phloem is side by side that means they are called as collateral vascular bundles cholenchyma is the tissue that is present only on the lower or ventral surface for senna leaf and it is restricted only in the midrib section and again it, the cells here are compactly arranged they do not have any intercellular space and uh, they provide flexible mechanical support calcium oxalate crystals of uh, senna leaf the senna leaf is having more amount of roseate calcium oxalate crystals roseate means the uh, rose petal like arrangement of the crystal or it is also known as para raphide crystals you can also find some uh, prismatic calcium oxalate crystals in the parenchyma they are randomly scattered 